we're exploring the mystical backstory of Mays Howe in the Orkney Islands. From being the home of a Victorian monster, via mad Vikings, right back to its Stone Age origins. There may have been a distinct lack of treasure, but archaeologists think it was a burial mound. The evidence for this is from other, smaller passage grave mounds on Orkney. They were full of bones, bones that tell us a lot about the relationship between Neolithic people and their dead. And Mary Ann is on their trail to see what these ancient remains reveal. Luckily for us, many of the bones the Victorians discovered in the other burial chambers have been stored here at the University of Aberdeen, where archaeologist and bone expert Rebecca Crozier has been unlocking their secrets for the past 14 years. When we're talking about putting people, dead bodies, into these tombs, are they putting whole bodies in? I think they are. When you start breaking it down and we're finding that generally every piece of the body is inside the tomb. And the only way for that to happen is if a whole body is in the tomb and that's where they decompose over time. These are all um, bones from your, from your big toe, actually. So, Seriously? Yeah. You've got a bag of big toes? Yeah. Your so job you, is weird. It is weird. <laughs> Think of it as the archaeological equivalent of stamp collecting. OK, so now I'm no anatomist, but even I know that no person has four big toe bones. So we're talking communal tombs. Yeah, I do think whole communities go inside those tombs in Orkney. I love it. It's like CSI. It is a bit. OK, talk me through mm. the 101 of how to bury someone in a tomb like Mays Howe. So I think the individual dies and then quite soon after death, they, the whole body is brought inside the tomb. OK. What happens once you're inside the tomb? I'm not sure, but I think there, if you haven't reached the right state of decomposition for whatever time period you're supposed to achieve it in, I think there's a, an intervention. Sounds sinister. But what do you mean? Not. Ritual specialists actually help the body to achieve its broken up status. So perhaps by dismembering and defleshing, talking about What Rebecca's it. describing yeah. is the butchery I of a corpse. There are cut marks on human remains in places where we have muscle attachments, so it would be consistent with dismembering a body. Just there, throw it in there. I know, they crawl into the tomb with the rotting bodies and yeah. they give them each a prod and they go, well, yeah. this one, Barry hasn't decomposed enough. Exactly. Let's chop him up. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Wow. That's just insane. This constant messing about with bones suggests a sophisticated set of religious beliefs. Archaeologists reckon something similar happened at Mays Howe but frustratingly, we can never be certain. Because when the 19th century archaeologists first opened up Mays Howe, they found something surprising. Or rather, they didn't. Unlike the other Orkney burial mounds, there was no evidence of the Neolithic dead at Mays Howe, aside from a single tiny fragment of ancient skull. Which is odd for a burial chamber. 